Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about camp stoves, but specifically the MSR Pocket Rocket. I believe it's the second generation. Uh, the reason I want to talk about this MSR Pocket Rocket is because through my trials and tribulations of trying to find a affordable yet working cooking stove that's portable, I've come to find the MSR fits my bill. And I'll give some reasons why here. Uh, when I was in the army, we went to the field, everybody that was cool had a jet boil. I was not that cool because I was uh, private. So I didn't have the, the funds to purchase a jet boil, uh, although they looked really cool. So I got to thinking like, what could I do to maybe get something that would be like a jet boil, uh, maybe a little more affordable and do the same job. So I came to find you don't really have to pay for a name brand. Uh, my first purchase though, however, was a pocket stove from Walmart. I think I paid less than $20 for this. Uh, and it at one time had a orange uh, plastic piece around it. I don't know if it was like a collar. I don't know if it was more for safety or for aesthetics or for uh, actual use function. But at this point in time, I've lost that collar over the years of using it. <clears throat> and I keep this as a backup. That's why I still have it and haven't actually thrown it away. <laughs> but if I had two of these MSR pocket rockets, I think I would just toss this in the trash. And I'll go into reasons why. Uh, without that collar, I think it had a lot of functionality because these things, they don't really hold up well. Now I could absolutely stick a a cup or some type of other device or a cooking device on there and it would hold up. But I wouldn't really trust it if it was super windy or um, if it was an uneven surface or something. It's better than nothing. I guess that's what I'm getting at. And I probably, I probably got a dozen uses out of it, if not more. So let's get into the pocket rocket. So it comes with its own carrying case, which is really nice. I mean, it does keep it, uh, protected, you know, relatively, and it doesn't exactly take up a lot of space inside of the container. So you're not losing space if you use the container, which I do like. Uh, secondly, this thing folds up extremely small, and I'll show you and compare it to this <clears throat> Walmart, maybe Ozark Trail, I don't know, I don't want to bash a company, but it just doesn't really stack up as far as size. This, this takes up way too much space as compared to this, which you'll see, it folds out. And it's sturdy. These things don't go anywhere. Uh, it does feel like they've got some, just a tiny bit of springiness to them, only to satisfy weight. It seems like it's a really well done, uh, good design. It also shows you up, you know, plus and minus for gas. I'll go ahead and set this thing up. So here I've got it set up on my uh, camp stove. My, this is Coleman gas, but it's the f blended fuel. I believe it's, uh, it's butane and propane mixture. And MSR sells their own version of this. <clears throat> but this is pretty cheap. So again, I'll just turn it on. You can kind of hear it's hissing. Give it a light and turn it up or down based on your needs. This is no different. It does the same thing, it has the same purpose. It does not give you an indication of which way is up and down, but you will be able to figure it out based on the plane. Something else I want to talk about is weight. There's a clear distinction between one and the other. And when it comes to backpacking or even just trying to travel light, that's a real matter. So I'll go ahead and fold this down. Uh, I've got this teared to grams for the MSR Pro. I'm, I'm seeing 74 grams. For this Walmart brand, whatever, I'm seeing 167 grams, so it's almost twice the weight. 
So that in itself should tell you if you're like really into backpacking or you're just trying to save some space, this is it. So I just fold it back down, put it in my case, and I'm good to go. Um, I'll probably want to just discuss as to why I'd want one of these, why you might want one of these. I keep mine in my truck bag <clears throat> that's sitting behind me. Uh, I've talked about this in a past video, my truck bag. Um, but in reality, if I need to go somewhere, if, I need, if I'm out somewhere and I just want to make a cup of coffee or I just want to throw together a, uh, a mountain house meal or cook some ramen, whether I'm camping or I'm lost or, uh, or I'm just traveling and the, the need fits, you know, that's kind of where I use it at. And I certainly would use it for backpacking, but I don't do that nearly as much as some people do. However, if you're into either one of those things, uh, you're in the field, you go to the range, um, you just want something small for a little truck bag like me, check out the MSR Pro 2. Not super expensive, uh, a lot more affordable than what I would think a Jet Boy would be, and um, pretty versatile. So I think it'd be kind of cool to compare them. Uh, this one has a hot, whole lot bigger surface area. Uh, I just want to see how the MSR kind of stacks up against this uh, cheap but larger Walmart purchase here. So I'm going to time these two and then just compare them. Alright, I'm going to turn it all the way up. Okay, so it took about four minutes or so with my MSR. Um, I'm gonna see what this Walmart brandish thing is doing. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. As you can tell, like this is just not a preferred cooking device. But we're gonna go with it. I'm just gonna show you uh, MSR versus this. All right, so we're using the same jug of water, same temperature. I would say roughly 65, 68 degrees out here. Uh, this thing is cranked all the way up. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just time it and see how long it takes to, you know, get some rolling, a uh, rolling boil. I, if I had to guess, this thing is gonna be a little faster. It's got a much larger surface area, but I haven't used it in a while, so we'll see what actually happens. So I'm sure you guys just saw me grab the pot holder off of the table and this thing just shook around. So I don't really like using this already, but uh, again, in the name of you know testing reviews, we're gonna keep this thing going. So there we have it. It's like seven and a half minutes for this cheaper Walmart brand version of the uh, of the Pocket Rockets cook stoves. Uh, I don't know what jet boil would be, but I do know that the MSR was half of the time. Uh, it's half the weight. It's probably half the size and bulkiness of this one. Uh, and it probably, this is probably half the price, but I wish I would have went ahead and spent the money at the time. I wish I could have seen this video for myself. Um, or at least try to do a little more research before I wasted my money. Um, this thing is sketchy, uh, very sketchy. I don't know if you guys are watching, but um, it just, every time I move the, uh, the cup, it just seemed to 
not want to stay on there. And again, it used to have a collar on there and it was a little more sturdy, but nonetheless, this has stood this test of time. I've used it about a dozen times and I love it. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description on where to get these. Uh, I paid like, I don't know, $40, $45 for it. So well worth the money. All right, thanks for watching.